Yo, yo, what's up? Welcome to Training with Emotions. Today, I'm going to be talking about fractals, man. Why fractals work, okay? There's a uh, misunderstanding in the community, in my opinion, at least as to how fractals work. So I just wanted to clear some things up and, and just uh, put my input in this because I feel like it'll clear a lot of uh, just uncertainty with, with these things, right? There's, um, I've seen this happen a lot before, right, where people just kind of take a little section here, a little pattern, stretch it out, right? Let's make it pretty, though. Let's make it black so we can see what's going on. And, yeah, they'll just kind of grab it, put it somewhere in here, and be like, oh, look, dude, this looks like we can, you know, play out here because, look, this part's inverse, and this is a cup, and we are here, and we're going to squeeze. Okay, but fractals work. They do. They tend to, to fail us at some point because of option dates, okay? I truly believe that it all comes down to option expiration dates, and I'll tell you why. So fractals are not necessarily correlated with what is something that's uh, cyclical, right? Because when, when you have, for example, the cycle that I have here, right, repeats every 62 days, and you see patterns repeat themselves over and over and over again. With fractals, it's a little bit different, but you have to apply the same concept because for a fractal to be valid, you have to ask yourself, why, why do fractals make sense? Why can I just take any pattern, right, and stretch it, shrink it, flip it, whatever it is, because you're changing its original time frame. And you have to ask yourself, why, why would it work if I hover this over and if it fits like a puzzle somewhere else? Why would that work in the first place, right? And the answer to that is, again, it all comes down to technicals. It all comes down to these cycles of options that keep happening over and over and over again. So the way we do this is actually pretty easy. There's a, um, if you ever take a fractal, okay, and you, again, grab the entire fractal and you shrink it, there's a way to uh, basically approve or, or, or this, I guess, you can approve yourself here or, or check yourself to be correct if you use the correct calculation for it. So what I've created here is, well, let's bring the cycle. Here we have the two month, right? The two month cycles happening over and over and over again. And you can do this with this tool back here. It's called the time cycles. You can grab your dates and then it'll just repeat it over and over again. It's easier than just taking a, a trend line, right? And placing it down every two months. This will do it right for you. So let's take the cycle away here for a second. Here's a two month cycle happening over and over and over again. Now, within this two cycle, there's monthly cycles happening, right? And within monthly cycles, we have bi-week cycles happening. And then we have weekly cycles. So these are all cycles within cycles. Now, what can you do with this, right? What can you, how can you use this to help yourself find these fractals that are happening over and over again? Well, this is a good way to check yourself on these fractals because, again, if you grab a pattern, let's say this entire sequence right here, we're going to do May 13th at 3, and we're going to do 8 entire, or I'm sorry, we're going to do 4 two-month cycles here, so that's 8 months, and we're going to do it again from 3 to 3, because we want to be precise here, right, the way we do it, 3 to 3. So there's our, there's our, uh, this is our pattern here. It's not a fractal yet because fractals are change in, in time, okay? Not necessarily in height, but in time. You can also change fractals in, in height and call them fractals if you want, but the, the reality here is that most people will take a pattern and they'll stretch it or shrink it and then, right, place it over somewhere in the, in the entire AMC chart and, and call it a day, right? Say that we're going to squeeze on this date because this fractal looks the same. A way to check yourself again is to take this and fit it, right? Fit it according to these option dates that are happening because why do we have a 
with the cycle, guys, why do we have these patterns repeating themselves over and over again? It's because these hedge funds that are using this to leverage their, um, their positions and hedge their positions along the way, they're using technicals against us, against longs and shorts. So why would these patterns be repeating themselves on a smaller scale or a larger scale? It's for the same reason. That's why you see these fractals happening on a smaller scale is because on the weeklies, they're trying to do the same thing. On the biweekly, on the monthly, they're trying to do the exact same thing. So if you're hedging your position on a shorter time frame, you're going to see these fractals repeat themselves over and over again because of technicals. It all comes down to technicals, okay? So let's, let's give you guys an example here so you, so you know what I'm talking about. Let's uh, have this entire, entire fractal here. That's not a fractal yet, but let's make it into a fractal. So let's shrink it on the half mark here. So that would be September 15th at 3 would be the half mark. So we cut this fractal in half. And now there's a half sequence here. So we can, if we find a pattern that looks very similar to this one, we can use this table down here to check ourselves to make sure the pattern works. It's just a good way to do that. But I want to go, uh, you know, even more, more in, in, in detail here. So I'm going to shrink it one more time and we're going to do the exact uh, cycle length here, which is two months. So we're going to do July 15th at three and there it is, right? So what can we do with this pattern now? Well, let's first, let's change the color here so you can see what's going on clearly. So now we have this entire fractal here that we've made. So let's go ahead and check ourselves, right? Let's bring the cycle. And cycle's kind of in the way, so let's take away now. You know what? Let's for, forget about the cycle for now. I think we'll, we'll be able to do with this. The cycle is just is telling us, again, 62 days long. So it's this giant white um, half circle here that we got going on would be the 62 day mark. So now that we have this fractal, let's go ahead and hover it over uh, specific events, right, that are happening. So here we got May 13th at three, again, from three, uh, let's do it from three to three, right? Cause that's what we're doing. There we go. 62 days long fractal. All right, do we have a match somewhere? Yes, we do. It's right here. Okay, the tail end of what is that match is going to be that fractal that confirms, right? We just got to stretch it to the upside and not change the, the, the length of it, right? And here, let's go on the uh, one hour. We can see a little bit more clearly what's happening, right? This entire sequence right here, the tail end of it, is repeating itself in identical uh, form, right? So that's one fractal confirmed. You can go throughout the entire cycle here and find these patterns repeat themselves inverse or identical because, again, this is used on, on a shorter time frame to make technicals occur and happen. You can literally stretch this pattern even more and get more detailed on the weekly or the biweekly. And if you keep finding these patterns, that is why. So that's just to clear some things up, guys. I, I've been getting a lot of questions why fractals are like why they work how they work and stuff and i think it's good to ask yourself that question right why site why fractals even work in the first place and you need to have a timely um a, a timely based sequence right to be able to construct these fractals because in the end guys it all comes down to option expiration dates if you don't have if you don't have an option chain on a certain stock, it'll be more volatile than, than most because, again, stocks that have option chains have a lot of money that is just, again, it, it's, it's a representation of the entire chart through the option chain because that's where most money is stored, most money is made. It's used to leverage the entire movements of what is happening with AMC. So let's go over a couple more examples just to show you guys here. Let's take one on the other side of the spectrum here. So we're going to stretch one out. So let's go ahead and take January again here, 8th. And just bear with me. I'm going to just copy and paste it all the way through. And let's do one, two, three. Let's do three long cycles here. So I did four to four. Again, just got to shift it over one, three to three. 
And um, again, let's use this and stretch it now. So let's do a, instead of doing a one fourth, let's do a one third to the upside. So that would be times three. So we're gonna do one, two, three, we're gonna do nine and we're gonna stretch it that way. So let's go to the four hour chart and let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I've stretched the pattern a total of three times. And again, what does this confirm? Me just confirms that now we're looking at the pattern on a uh, times three scale, which would still be right. If we find something that's that that looks very, very close to it, it's a good way to confirm that, right? Because on a macro level, you are again stretching stretching it out making it make sense through option expiration dates. All right, so let's see if we could find something with this. So we did we did 9 or let's do let, let's do it even so you guys don't get confused. Instead of doing 1 3rd, let's do 1 4th like the other one, but to the upside. So let's let's times it 4, which would be 12. So let's add 3. 1 2 3. All right, there we go. We can even come all the way over here. Uh, okay, let's assume that it's right around there. Again, we're going to be off maybe a couple hours. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm just trying to show you guys what's going on here. So let's stretch this to the upside. And again, we're using this tool to be able to get things um, spot on, right, where they are. So let's let's do something here real quick. I'm going to come back. Because typically with TradingView, guys, if you go beyond what's happening, you won't get these dates unless you're on, like, the daily. So let's let's go back here again third, three, and let's zoom in here so we can get it to a T. Okay, there we go. All right, on the four hour chart, we have this entire sequence. Now, can we find a pattern somewhere that looks the same? Well, let's see. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, so let's stretch the height again. Let's not change anything else, just change the height. So we can see what's happening. Uh, 11, 11. Okay, bear with me, guys. This is a little bit, it's pretty difficult to do this. Okay. All right, what do we got here? We got a pattern that we found. Okay, so this right here is the June run-up found right over here on a times four um, calculation. So if we took this fractal and multiplied it times four, we would find the entire run-up and the entire cycle that you guys have seen before. So the cycle that I um, that I have here repeating every 62 days, that is this pattern right here we find. So we find this pattern over and over and over, over again on a smaller scale, on a larger scale. You're going to keep finding this pattern because it's what they're using, again, to make these technicals occur, uh, to trick retail, to trick long, shorts, everything. Now we can just hover it over and see what's going on, right? What do we got going on here, right? So we do have this pattern playing out, and you have very similar structure in the way that it repeats itself over and over again. Even if you come back here, this specific pattern is right over the projector pattern that shot up the volume, right? And you find these points, points of interest that start to sort of make sense, right? But this is an example of how fractals also fail because when you find these fractals, right, and you hover them over and they start playing out, you know, and dude, it looks like this has to play out. Like, look, man, it played out on the projector. It played out on this arc. It's playing out out here. And then it starts to go to the upside. It completely just disrupts the, the entire rest of the sequence here. It just doesn't make sense, right? So this is one way in which people have to be careful when you're studying fractals. Because you have to look at technicals, you have to look at option expiration dates, you have to look at how, what, in what way you're multiplying this that would make sense. All of these things take into account if, if fractals are valid or not. So again, guys, I see a lot of people taking this pattern back here in June and just stretching it over and, and saying that we're down here and that we're gonna squeeze straight up into a line. That is just not true, in my opinion. We need to think about the technicals, the climbing setup, the projector setup before making these assumptions that something might happen because we're stretching a pattern out. Use a calculation tool and remember that these are all 
because of option expiration dates. Okay, I'm gonna do one more just to show you guys this. And we're gonna do, th this one's gonna be kinda cool because we're gonna, this one's going to shrink entirely a couple couple times, all right? So we're gonna start here on November 6th when th that was the heavy volume that we first got before coming up here. So no November 6th time, uh, we're gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, let's do six to be even. So let's go all the way back here. All right, so this is, again, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times two, that's one year entirely right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna shrink it in. We're gonna shrink it to two. So we're gonna shrink. We're gonna shrink it to thirds. Is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna shrink it to thirds. So one, two, three. This would be half, and then half of three. Er, all right, I'm getting confused now. Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be half. Okay, this would be half here, and then half of this would be on in the middle of this red um, circle back here, half circle. There we go. So this would be, uh, we're, we're doing it, a, we're cutting it in thirds now. And if we could find somewhere in this entire sequence, right, that, that where this makes sense, then great. Like that's pretty cool. Or, or we can keep stretching it just to see. Let's do, let's do halves for now and see, see how that goes, right? So now in halves, what we have found is that this sequence right here is just this entire this entire pattern over here is stretched right in half. Do you see how it fits here? Here, I'll stretch it out for you. Here we go. We got the run up. A little projector pattern is even showing up. Here's the bottom of it. So remember, a lot of the times with cycles, you will, you'll have the inverse play out. This is a prime example of that. You can come down instead of going up. Here's the run up. We got the little um, cup here, sideways pressure. Again, here we go up, but down here we go inverse, down. And then you even have a lot of these patterns hovering right over what are these like points of interest, right? Here we had a run up. Again, on the 62 day cycle, this would have been uh, a, a shorting stage, right? Where we're. we're these positions, these institutions would have to go long and then short it, right, in the, in the future. So these are one way, this is one way you can, again, confirm whether fractals are true or not. But always remember, guys, you have to look at the price that we're currently sitting at. You have to look at what these shorts want to do in these longs and in these institutions that are controlling the price action. What they want to, what their ultimate goal is, all of this comes back to options and that I am like positive about AMC is manipulated through options again not financial advice guys but it's very very likely that this is the way that they're controlling the price action and I just want to clear this up because I know that a lot of people um, again are using this and and that's just spreading a lot of misinformation guys okay and I don't want anybody losing money in that so learn how how um, how these patterns are created into into what people call fractals now uh, before right before just hovering them over and, and doing that so that's all I wanted to talk about this week uh, hopefully tomorrow if you guys are with me on live stream I'll go over more examples and again we will go ahead and, and analyze the entire setup and I'll be talking about a couple of other things with the cycle okay so you guys have a great rest of your day and thank you guys for watching this video and take it easy man fucking love you guys peace out Trade